unofficial diplomatic relations between Iran and Germany after World War II began in 1939, when Iran opened its first diplomatic mission office in Bonn. Both countries' predecessor states had maintained formal diplomatic relations since the end of 19th century. Unofficial relations between the German Reich and Iran date to the early 19th century. Goethe's dedication of his West Ostlicker Divan to Hafez in 1819 is an illustration of how far back such cultural ties go. During the Qayyar era, with the increasing unpopularity of world powers in Persia such as Russia and United Kingdom, especially after the treaties of Turkmenche and Gulistan and the revolt of Grand Ayatollah Mirza Hassan Shirazi in the tobacco movement. Many Iranian intellectuals began searching for a third force, which could be relied upon as a potential ally, Germany, which had largely remained out of the great game. From 1939 to 1941, Iran's top foreign trade partner was Germany, which helped Iran in opening modern sea and air communications with the rest of the world. These good relationship ended soon. In July 2024, Iran's foreign ministry summoned the German ambassador over Germany's decision to ban the Islamic Center Hamburg Association. The Federal Ministry of the Interior had argued the eyes acted as a direct representative of Iran's supreme leader and sought to bring about an Islamic revolution in Germany that would create theocratic rule. In October 2024, Germany announced that it would shut all three Iranian consulates on its territory in reaction to the execution of German-Iranian national Jamshid Sharmad but allowed the embassy to remain open. Iran executed a German citizen. The European Union continues to call on Iran to refrain from any future executions and pursue a consistent policy towards the abolition of capital punishment. The European Union reiterates its call on Iran to end the distressing practice of detaining foreign civilians and dual nationals with a view to making political gains. Iranian restrictions on consular access to our citizens, the denial of consular protection and fair trial are not acceptable and stand in direct violation of international law. The European Union condemns in the strongest terms the execution in Iran of German-Iranian national Jamshid Sharmad. Jamshid Sharmad was born on March 1955. He was a U.S.-based German-Iranian software engineer. A permanent resident of the United States from 2003, Sharmad had been targeted by the Iranian government for his connections to Tandar an Iranian monarchist group engaging in violent attacks. Jamshid Sharmad was born in Tehran on the 23rd of March 1955. When he was seven years old, he moved with his father to Hanover, West Germany, where he grew up in a German-Iranian household. Jamshid Sharmad, a resident of the USA and a journalist, created a website, Tomdar for the Kingdom Assembly of Iran, which is an opposition collective that advocates for an end to the Islamic Republic of Iran, including through violence. Jamshid Sharmad hosted its radio and video broadcasts, including by reading out the website's content, some of which was posted anonymously. The website included statements from the Kingdom Assembly of Iran claiming responsibility for explosions inside Iran. Jamshid Sharmad has repeatedly denied his involvement in the violent acts attributed to him by the authorities. The Iranian government alleged that Sharmad was responsible for a 2008 attack on a mosque in Shiraz that killed 14 people and injured 200. It also claimed that in 2017 he had revealed classified information on Revolutionary Guard missile sites. On 1 August 2020, the Ministry of Intelligence announced in a statement that its secret agents, referred to as the Unknown Soldiers of Imam Zaman, had arrested Jamshid Sharmad following a complex operation without providing further details. The same day, the Minister of Intelligence, Mahmoud Alavi, 
stated that Jamshid Sharmad was heavily supported by the intelligence services of the USA and Israel and that he had been led into Iran through complex operations and taken into the custody of the Ministry of Intelligence. This was widely understood to have meant that he was abducted by Iran's intelligence agents from abroad. Jamshid Sharmad had been in the UAE and forcibly taken to Iran. Following his abduction, Ministry of Intelligence agents told Jamshid Sharmad that he was held in Tehran Zevin prison. But by late 2020 he told his family he was no longer there without being permitted to say more about his location. During a 23rd of March 2021 phone call, Jamshid Sharmad said he had lost nearly 20 kilograms and that only two of his teeth remained intact without being able to elaborate further, adding that he was only able to eat by using his gums to try to chew food. Sharmad's abduction was one of a series of kidnapping plots orchestrated by the Iranian government against dissidents as part of its campaign of transnational repression. Iranian state television aired propaganda videos showing Jamshid Sharmad confessing to having a role in an April 2008 explosion in Shiraz, Fars province, in which 14 people were killed. In one propaganda video, released in January 2021, his forced confessions were interspersed with clips of his broadcasts for the Kingdom Assembly of Iran with Jamshid Sharmad identified by the narrator as the group's leader and a terrorist, undermining his presumption of innocence and right not to self-incriminate. Throughout Jamshid Sharmad's investigation and trial proceedings, he was denied access to an independent lawyer of his own choosing and the right to defend himself. Jamshid Sharmad, his government-appointed lawyer told his family on 2 July 2022 that there was no point to him objecting against the Revolutionary Court admitting his forced confessions as evidence. Prior to this, on 9 May 2021, the government-appointed lawyer said that without payment of US dollars from the family, he would not defend Jamshid Sharmad in court and would only sit there. Jamshid Sharmad was convicted of the charge of corruption on earth, which is not clearly defined in law, and as such contravenes the principle of legality. His appeal in front of the Supreme Court is pending. The German and U.S. governments also condemned the trial as a sham with German Minister for Foreign Affairs on Elena Baerbock saying Sharmad never had even the semblance of a fair trial. Sharmad was repeatedly denied German consular assistance and access to trials. In response to the sentence, Germany expelled two Iranian diplomats. Sharmad was executed in Tehran on 28 October 2024, at the age of 69. Iranian state media announced his execution. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz condemned the execution and called it a scandal. Sharmad's abduction and execution worsened Germany-Iran relations. The day after he was put to death, Germany summoned Iran's charged affairs to register a formal diplomatic protest. The German ambassador to Iran, Marcus Potzel, also submitted a protest to the Iranian authorities and was recalled to Berlin. The German foreign minister also ordered the closure of all three Iranian consulates in Germany, leaving only the Iranian embassy in Berlin. As part of the closure of Iranian consulates general in Germany, 32 Iranian diplomats were stripped of their residence permits. Thank you for watching Death Row.